Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my honey. So we're going to take a look at what's going on with America's Got Talent. And there's this group called the Mayas. Um, someone said I should take a look at it, that they're so amazing. So I'm going to do that. Before we get into our reaction, please subscribe to my channel. Play. I'm Jana. I'm Lilia. I'm Joanna. I'm Raya. I'm Nicole. And I'm Duna. And we are the Mayas. I know Nadim since we were kids. We grew up on stage together. Then he started the Mayas. As a choreographer, he brought new style and technique and dancing to Lebanon. Lebanon is not considered a place when you can build a career out of dancing. It's hard, really hard. And harder for women. The Mayas, it's given us a free, safe, and creative space to it's dance. All right. It's all right, it's all right. I grew up watching America's Got Talent, and I was inspired by so many people, but what really got us to audition this year is Nightbird. I thought that all my problems, they would stay behind. Where she said, we can't wait until life isn't hard anymore. Before you decide to be happy. Seeing the Mayas in America's Got Talent is the most beautiful feeling I've ever felt. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's we want to show the world that okay. we're able to stand on our own feet as really strong and powerful women. And it's all right. It's okay, it's okay. Our childhood okay, dreams. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go out there, Mayas, and make it happen. It's all right, it's all right. We're the Mayas. And what does that mean? It's a word in Arabic that means the proud walk of a lioness. Oh, wow. Where in the Middle East are you from? Lebanon. From Lebanon. Lebanon. Wow. Welcome. So how is life for you guys in Lebanon right now? Lebanon is a very beautiful country. Yeah. But we live a daily struggle. But unfortunately, being a dancer as a female Arab uh, is not fully supported yet. Um. <laughs> what is your dream? Us being here, standing on the biggest stage of the world, is our only chance to prove to the world what Arab women can do, the art we can create, the fights we fight. <laughs> Do you know that if you win, you get one million dollars? Yes. So what are you going to do? I think I know, but... We're going to try to hypnotize you. Uh -huh. Ooh. OK, so we are ready to get hypnotized. Yes. So for that, I'm going to ask the judges to get a bit closer to each other to get the best experience. Come on over, Howie. All right. Snuggle up. I'm nervous.
words to explain to you what we were feeling over here. Thank you. It was the most beautiful, creative dancing I've ever seen. Thank you. Howie, what did you think? You know, you said you're going to hypnotize us. And when we sat here and we watched the movement and the perfection and the amount of time and effort that went into that, we were hypnotized by what you did. I want to thank you for giving us a little glimpse of your culture, which is so beautiful. It was just stunning, and I love all of you. I really do. Simon! Uh, this really, really will make a difference, full stop, in so many positive ways. That's one part. And then it was arguably the best dance act we're likely to have ever seen. And we are honored to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's time for us to vote, but I want to say something first. I would be so honored to empower you even more in this wow. journey because you deserve it. And I want to be part of this. very emotional um because i really understand what they mean a lot of there are a lot of restrictive rules for women in certain parts of the world it's not just it's a global issue and it's not like we're it's just it's so oppressive for some right they can't make laws for their own bodies like look at what's even happening in the states with regards abortion rights or what's happening in other countries with regards education. There's some places they say a woman can have a degree or can have go to school without her husband or father's permission. So restrictive. So when they came and they said they want to show the world the other part of Lebanon and also show their own people that they have these gifts and being a dancer or having a hobby such as beauty, so it does not make you a wayward woman you know how sometimes they associate certain movements of your body parts it's like oh she's a prostitute and it's not the case so it was really touching and i'm glad sofia vergara I, I, she got it she got it she knew what they were trying to do and that's probably why she gave them that golden buzzer and i i'm glad she did that to encourage them and also encourage other women who are watching i love what they said about the the choreographer who said about the songbird i remember her she's passed on now but I remember doing a reaction to her song and seeing how she was had term, a little time to live and <sighs> I don't want to cry, you guys. You know, it doesn't take, it takes a little thing for me to start the waterworks. On to the next, on to the next beautiful reaction that we might have.